Hi, Pipe Smokers. This is Paul Gilson, a.k.a. Paul the Pipe Guy. Yeah. And it's time for Two for Tuesday. So grab your favorite pipe, grab your favorite blend, grab whatever beverage you feel like uh, enjoying, and let's have a smoke together. Uh, the current time uh, is uh, 6.57, 57 minutes after the hour, and uh, it is Tuesday. I know it's Tuesday, because I wouldn't be doing two for Tuesday if it wasn't. And, uh, yeah, so it's uh, February 15th, 2022. And uh, so I have two pipes here. But, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know. The YouTube pipe community is a very solid community. I've made some very good friends. I've been very blessed. And uh, I watched a video when I got home from work uh, about 5.30, 5.45 p.m. from uh, Walsh Piper 62. And uh, it was good to see him. He's actually become a friend. Um, and, uh, so, uh, the Walsh Piper 62, actually his, uh, YouTube channel is Walsh Piper 62. Yeah, this guy right here, Walsh Piper 62, the guy that still wants to see my tobacco seller. Well, he's, uh, going through, uh, little bit of a rough patch in the road right now and uh, uh, I'd consider him a good mate um, he's had COVID um, so he's currently out of work um, he's had uh, a problem where he has uh, <clears throat> He has a hernia, and he does a lot of heavy lifting where he works. So he's supposed to have a hernia operation, and you can see it all in his video. I mean, uh, the video that he released uh, about eight hours ago today. If you go to Welsh Piper sixty two, yeah, that's him. Welsh Piper sixty two. So, um, and with, um, with the hernia operation, uh, well, COVID has cost him, you know, financially can't go to work and can't go in. He's still tested positive today. Uh, can't get his hernia operation yet. And then when he does get his hernia operation, it's going to be several re weeks of recovery, so lots of lost work. Um, this guy, in my opinion, is a uh, top-notch fellow, and uh, I believe in the power of prayer. We all have different beliefs. If you don't believe in the power of prayer, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do. So um, I'd like to pull together and say a prayer. And anyone that agrees with it can just say amen or whatever comment you want to make. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, let's pray. Lord, uh, you know the afflictions of my good friend, Welsh Piper 62, and uh, his lost wages. And uh, 
Lord, we uh, pray for a full recovery from the COVID. Um, we pray for uh, the operation on the hernia will uh, go well and he'll receive a full recovery, that he'll come out of the anesthesia. And, and Lord, we, uh, we pray for his finances. He has a daughter that has asthma, and he's hoping that she doesn't get COVID. We cover her with the blood of Jesus, that that won't happen. And uh, again, we pray for his health and his finances and his family. We cover his doorstep with the blood of Jesus say these things in your son Jesus name amen well Mr. Walsh Piper God has a plan <laughs> yeah so um, in honor of him uh, I have my Mr. Brog console Bowl number 82. I did do a review on this. I love this pipe. And uh, in that, in honor of my friend Walsh Piper 62, we have two friends, Celtic Mist, which I did a review on that too. So I'd like to smoke that with you. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. I'm doing it in honor of you your family and our friendship and the Lord above that he's going to get you through this. So let's stoke it up. <laughs> yeah. And if any of you that uh, are offended by prayer or whatever, I mean, you say, hey, Paul, uh, in the comments section, I'm going to unsubscribe because I don't believe in God and I don't believe in prayer and just Put your name down there and we'll put you on the YouTube pipe community prayer list. Yeah. Whatever, you know. Or or you can just say nothing. It doesn't matter. Or agree with me in prayer for my good friend. So here we go. To Welsh Piper 62. Ah, yes. Cornell and Deal. Celtic Mist. Yeah, it was uh, tinned on 11-19 of 2020. So here we go, mate. Mm. It was good to see your video because... I've gotten comments from uh, you and uh, so forth, and it was good to see, kind of put a face to the name. Oh, yeah. So with uh, that said, my friend, the Lord has a plan for you. He's going to get you through this. You'll be fine. Um, mm. Oh, this is good. So, uh, I woke up this morning, it was uh, oof, really cold. It's currently about uh, 23 degrees. The barometer in my living room slash man cave is only 18. 18, which means it's super, super dry in here. Tomorrow morning when I wake up, um, it's going to be really cold. But that, 
it's going to get up to about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, thank God. I am not a cold weather person. My Dodge Diesel hates the cold. I mean, a lot of people don't understand how difficult it is to own a diesel truck in Arctic weather that we've had. We've had some really cold temperatures, so much for global warming, I guess. Well, diesel trucks, and Adam Park will understand this, diesel engines do not have spark plugs. I mean, even I have spark plug. Right here. <laughs> yeah, spark plug. <laughs> A great Latakia blend slash Latakia. I love this stuff. But diesels don't have diesel engines. And Adam Park knows everything about diesel engines. He's another good bloke that I'd call my mate. If we were in Italy, I'd call him my Paisan or my Goomba. Diesel engines don't have spark plugs. They have glow plugs. Where when you turn the key, you have to wait over time. The batteries heat up these glow plugs. They're whatever they are. They're, yeah, they're glow plugs. And then when you when the little coil on the dashboard goes off, you know, it's drawing a lot of power off the battery to heat these things up. When you turn the key, after that little coil goes off that says your engine's warm enough to fire it up, and hopefully it fires up. Mine doesn't always. And diesel engines, not to bore you, the, they're very high compression engines. So once you get it warm enough in there, you have intense heat from the glow plugs, not spark plugs. Totally different animal from a gasoline engine or a petrol engine, I believe you would say, in the UK. Uh, And the process is continued through compression. So when the cylinder goes up or down, I don't know how it works exactly. There's so much pressure applied to the diesel fuel that flows into that cylinder that it's compression that causes the combustion of the diesel fuel. Kind of like uh, if you subscribers are old enough, do you remember the old cap guns? They had little caps and there was gunpowder and they were red rolls. Well, when we were kids, we used to take them and hit them with a hammer. Compression caused the explosion on those. Sometimes we'd get a big sledgehammer Take a whole roll of caps from a cap gun. You can't even find them anywhere anymore because everybody's so firearm freaky. But you'd take four. You'd take a roll which consisted of four or five. I can't remember. It's been so many years. Rolls of caps, and a cap gun basically simulated a real pistol. You know cowboy type of pistol. So you'd put the roll in to the cap gun. I don't need to explain. You people that are old enough understand. And you'd carry it in a holster. You'd go out and play cowboys and Indians and when you'd pull the trigger it moved the uh, roll up. It had an advancement mechanism that moved the roll up and then the hammer would fall down and there was a little thing of gunpowder or whatever inside of that paper roll 
when the hammer hit, it would make a popping noise. Well, you, you'll be lucky to even find those nowadays. Well, we'd take a whole roll of them, a whole box of them, and hit them with a sledgehammer on the garage concrete floor, and it would make such an explosive sound your ears would ring. Those of you who are of my generation would understand that. The younger ones will have to, they'll probably never experience it. We're going to take a little break. I'll be right back in a nanosecond. <sighs> Alrighty, we're back. So I had to check on Kelly, the killer calico cat. Um, and oh, by the way, Mr. Welsh Piper, um, you have my email address. We email each other back and forth. So. Feel free to email me. Feel free to email me, and uh, we can discuss your situation. So, uh, Kelly, the calico cat, turned uh, six months old on the first of February. And uh, so that makes her eligible to get uh, fixed. And uh, Saturday night, uh, my friend slash landlord was over. So you have two men in the house. And Kelly, the calico cat, went into heat for the first time. Now, those of you who know cats or dogs or any type of animal, when they go into heat, what that means is um, it's a biological thing that happens to animals. And they want to reproduce. Yeah, just like humans. Like when you're young and, well, you, you get it. So here's two men sitting in the living room, enjoying great conversation, and Kelly, the killer calico cat, starts acting all weird and, you know, I won't get into it. She wants to get out and see some of those. Uh, I live in the country, so there's a couple of tomcats around. Whether they're feral or whether they're indoor, outdoor cats of my neighbors, they can smell each other's pheromones. And animals can smell men's testosterone, I believe. Yeah, I think I pronounced that right. So she's going wild and meowing and this and that. And rrr, rrr. So <clears throat> she's now eligible to what my mom, or in the UK you'd call your mom, uh, my mom, uh, we grew up with cats, and when you get them fixed, my mom, my mom refers that as to getting your skirt shortened. In other words, once she's fixed, she can't have kittens. And she's an escape artist. So she hears my truck roll in. She's sitting right by the front door. Uh, if I go outside, she's sitting trying to escape. And all she has to do is get out. And I'm going to end up with a litter of kittens, which I'd prefer not to have. I've had seen a lot of kittens born, and it's a beautiful thing. But um, I don't want that to happen. I, you know, I don't want to have to try to uh, give away 
four to six kittens and have to deal with that, even though it's a beautiful part of nature. So uh, I called up the vet and I got the price on her shots and all that stuff. That's not too bad, but then they quoted me to get her fixed so she can't get pregnant between 450 and 750 US dollars. It's like, what? what? Now that's a lot of money. $450 is about after tax what a working person in the United States brings home in a week after taxes. And I was like, well, I thought it was only going to be like 250 Fortunately, my future daughter-in-law works at this particular veterinary office and she's on vacation for the week so uh, they might be able to work out a friends and family plan for me I mean I have I do have the savings in a, in a emergency fund to pay for that but it's like man my, I I don't know I've I felt like saying I'll research it on YouTube and do it myself, but I, I won't do that. So, as soon as they could get her in, uh, I have an appointment with her on March 3rd. Yeah. At 6.30. She's going to get her shots, everything. When you take out an animal... And there's some people that collect animals. If, if you're one of those people that does that and you're watching, don't take offense to this. But when uh, I got Callie, she was only seven weeks old. Couldn't even hop up or off the couch. And now she's a six-month-old cat that wants to go out and prowl around and play the field. which I understand I was young once and used to do that quite well. But I've changed my ways. Plus, I'm married. Uh, so, we're going to get her shots and so forth. And I have to orchestrate all of this stuff. I don't know. It'll all work out. Then after she gets her, sh her shots and the evaluation... They'll give me the price. And like I said, I could pay cash for, you know, getting her fixed, but it'd put a it put a good dent in my emergency fund. Enough about that. Hopefully they'll have a friends and family discount for me. Yeah. I'll tell you, I love this Cornell and Deal Two Friends Celtic Mist. It's, just, it's so good, it's so relaxing. If you have the opportunity to get a Mr. Brog 82 console pipe, and that's spelled, uh, I think, C O N S U L, grab one. This is a great, great smoker. I've already, and you can look back, I have a review on this pipe. 
This isn't a pipe or tobacco review. It's two for Tuesday. Yeah. Just a great pipe. Starting to get broken in. I'm going to let it rest. We're coming up on 25 minutes already. I can't believe, where does the time go? It's like I get home and, uh, well, I've said this before, and all of a sudden, it's, I do a couple of things and it's time for bed, you know. I mean, right now we're looking at 7.28 p.m. in uh, the outskirts of Rochester, where I live. So, um, the next pipe that we have is a uh, Dr. Graybow briar pipe. And I think this was the second pipe that I purchased. And um, I don't believe it even has a bowl number. No. It just says Dr. Graybow Omega. And if you look up the Latin or Greek, I believe it is, I I didn't, I probably should have looked it up. There's Alpha and Omega. Alpha means the beginning. Omega means the end. So, and that is in the Bible, Alpha, Omega. So, uh, this is an Omega pipe. This is what we're going to finish up two for Tuesday with. It's made out of briar. Not a very expensive pipe, probably around 50 U.S. dollars. It's got a P-lip on it. I like the shape of it. It's made out of briar. Made in the USA. Yeah. So, uh, in that we have, uh, which I believe is another Cornell and Deal blend, uh, Captain Earl's Night Watch. Yeah. So, what a perfect ending. Omega. Night Watch. The end. It's nighttime. The last pipe I'm going to smoke. Yeah, but before we light this up, I'm going to pause for a second and we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back. And we have our uh, Dr. Graybow. Some people call it Dr. Grabow, or, but I've been corrected, and I've told that it uh, should be pronounced Dr. Graybow. Yeah. And we're going to be smoking our Captain Earl's Night Watch that was put in the tin on March 11th of. 2021, so almost a year ago. We're going to stoke that up in closing. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. So after this, I'm going to uh, upload this video. I do need to replace my phone because all these recordings are done on uh, <clears throat> Samsung Galaxy S7 I've had for oh, probably four and a half years. It's time for an upgrade. It's 4G. I don't know. Hmm. Ah, that's so good. I believe this is a Latakia rich blend. Yeah, I think so. The pipe smoker made a uh, comment that he was smoking something... Uh, 
Irish X or whatever. I looked it up. Yes, pipe smoker. Mm -hmm. My elusive good friend. I looked it up. It's sold out everywhere. And it's not cheap. So I'm thinking that this Sunday I'd like to do another giveaway. And um, when I ordered this uh, Viking uh, pipe here, which the pipe smoker loved, very thick walls, uh, it's a Viking uh, Bowl 210 made out of briar and uh, when I originally ordered this pipe pipes and cigars screwed up and they sent this Mississippi Meerschaum corn cob pipe. Yeah, we're going to get cut off. I'm thinking that might be our next giveaway for you corn cobbers. I don't know. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York, the outskirts. God bless you all. I'm going to spend the rest of my night organizing stuff. I don't know. Anyways, God bless you all, and uh, have a good evening. Over and out.